to have been able to be a fly on the wall, or for that matter, I would have been a freaking Texas flying cockroach on the wall. And excuse all the noise in the background and the black cat in the back, but I gotta get this out. The, to have been in that room, what is stereotypically viewed as um, egotistical males with different religious backgrounds and socioeconomic beliefs and political views, ethnicities, and different levels of education, of life privileges, of non-life privileges, um, and different levels of intelligence, and even thought of as maniacs and barbaric in the nature in which they play the game. No, I'm not talking about our government, no. I'm talking about NFL players taking a stand, whether they bent the knee or stood up together, whatever, they utilize their most powerful asset, which is their voice. And what was even more powerful than that is that they came out as a unified voice. One nation. Mm. Maybe, you know, it was the coaches leading the way or the owners or certain team members. It, it really doesn't matter and we don't know. The thing is, who would have thought that they would get past all the noise, all the rhetoric, all the covering up and decide to take one stance, one voice? Love it. These different men spent maybe two hours tops to talk and listen and essentially negotiate because Every form of communication is negotiation. You're deciding right now, you're negotiating right now with yourself, you're gonna to continue to listen to me. And they were able to come out of that and be able to have one voice and, and talk about this stuff and to focus on the moment at hand. You know, to be one united front, whatever we're gonna do, stay and kneel, whatever, and to accomplish the goal, the task, which was to play football. There's you know, citizens who desire to sink their opinion in ignorance or our government, whom we pay to do this by the way, could do the same thing, could be so mature to do the same thing and make decisions, okay? And they're not, at least not in this pace. Could take a, they could all take a lesson from the NFL. Imagine things we could get done. Hmm their most powerful thing they possess more powerful than their muscles their bank accounts even maybe even the love for the game you know that could be argued which is their voice then they did the most powerful thing with that tool they actively listened they had to because they all came out on the field with one decision whether that was to all of them stand some of them stand some of them kneel we have a variety of things whatever they decided as a team to respond and represent their unified voice and it didn't cost them a dime. Hmm. And we pay them for the skill set. <laughs> okay. And yes, their time, which is money, was spent, but that was worth every single dime. Silence is golden, yes. But actively listening is pure cane platinum, people. Pure cane platinum. What is Shannon, what does this have to do with being a traveling actress? Honey, everything. People always ask me, how are you able to travel and live a life where you barely work? Well, myth number one is I am working all the time, but I'm working doing things that I love. And it all has to do with the power of one's voice. In the next few videos, we're actually going to talk about how I use the power of my voice to make the money I deserve and have the freedom I always desire. But more importantly, I'm going to be showing you how you can do it too. Hey, now that sounds like an NFL win-win game plan. Maybe I should play football. No, I don't think so. So stay tuned because we're gonna go over that and this is Chen and Dade, remember, reminding you that your voice isn't anything, it's everything.